I have saliva all the way up to her eyelids anyway when she's doing it. So Jesus Christ. <laughs> All She's right. gonna look crazy. I'm so, just saying. Look, look. Deshaun so, Watson wants shit like that. You know how he be going. I was about to say. <laughs> does Deshaun Watson might like some glory hole? Uh, tell us about that. You are the glory hole princess. I am the glory hole princess. Um, so the glory hole is basically a wall with a hole in it for a guy to put his penis through to get sexual pleasures on the other side. Um, I enjoy Glory Hole because it gives me the ability to fully be in control. Mm. Um, I enjoy a slight piece of my dominant side. It doesn't come out often, but in the Glory Hole, it is a fetish that I enjoy. So basically, a guy walks up to the hole, he puts his dick in it, and the woman decides what she wants to do on the other end. It could be jerk it, it could be... A hand job, it can be a blow job, it could be a full on sex session. The choice is pretty much hers. Cause usually guys comply. I mean, you put your dick through a hole. I mean, at that point, I'm down <laughs> whatever down. happens, happens. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, um, so it's usually what the woman does. But um, the parties that I go to are a little bit more fun than just putting your dick in a hole. So basically, it's a huge ass wall with like. 10 holes in it and the women are in the inside it's like a box and the women are in the inside of the box inside of that box it's a big ass party that's going in that you don't even know about because you're on the other side waiting mm. to get your dick sucked but the women back there they're conversing they're drinking they have music back there you know they're having a good time they might have a little girl on girl play or something of that nature but usually the women are back there sucking dick and could be possibly <laughs> recording themselves doing it um for the people that enjoy watching Wow. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, it is lifestyle oriented, so it's not like anyone and everyone can be invited. So you have to be in the lifestyle, which is more so like BDSM, kink, fetish, um, type of uh everybody don't have the same mindset type of I guess energy. So everyone wouldn't be invited to this thing unless you have a like mind and you have to be invited by someone that already Go so it's like a very small connection of of people. Good networking, I can yeah. see that right yeah. there. For yeah. sure, you gotta get. Hey, you gotta know somebody to know somebody. Yeah, it's a little exclusive. It's a little exclusive. <laughs> I've realized for the DMV, like I feel like for the DMV, the glory hole all started with all of us together. So basically, it was a big group of friends. We all party together. We all had a great time. But one person or two people decided that they wanted to do their own thing. What year was this? I can say about 10 years ago because it, it, you wouldn't believe it, but it's it's at least four glory holes here in the DMV. Ooh. It's it are, it's four different entities or groups that and they all have their own glory hole. So there are at least four different places that I can go to that have glory holes just alone here in the DMV because it started off as one group and then, you know, friends don't become friends anymore mm -hmm. and then everybody Dang. break off and do their own thing. That's some so shit. there's just been one new one that's built, <laughs> a brand new one, um, and it's out in the... Waldorf area. That's Glory uh, Hole headquarters. Waldorf. Yeah, God it's damn. A, it's another one in Waldorf <laughs> that just opened there. up. So that would be the fifth <laughs> Glory Hole Some in Maryland that I actually know of. And all of all of them I know. Um, so I I can go to any of them. I'm I don't have beef with anybody, so I'm invited to all the events. Pull up but any hole. I, <laughs> I can put to any hole. And that's the good thing about hole. me. You might think I'm at one event, but I'll be at a whole oh. nother event doing whole something else. So it's kind of hard to keep up with me with it when it comes to the gorgeous. So. But it's fun, and if you can get invited, I hope you have a great time. So it's like beef mm. with different glory holes. It is. You'll be surprised. There's like threats and like fights. Oh, it gets crazy. One guy lost his actual job. Oh, I thought you were about to say nigga lost Damn. his Damn. He lost his his Shit. his federal Ooh. job because of this. Things get real crazy in this lifestyle. Wow. So um when people don't like you, they'll do anything they need to do to put you down, especially when they feel like you're making more money than them or you're taking their people Damn. or whatever. So yeah, it can. It can get, got some beef. It, this lifestyle can get real catty. I'm telling you. Wow. That's, I don't Did not know that. Job yeah. Put my dick in a hole. Damn. Well, it's more so about mixing business and pleasure. So technically, yeah. technically, it was his fault. But if no one, 
pra practically first 48 in his ass, then he probably would have still had his job. But somebody pretty much snitched on him. Hmm. Was he like the kingpin or Wait. he was like just one of the pawns or how was that? He, he was kind of... He was kind of big in his job. He was big? He was kind of... No, I'm talking about him and the, the glory hole, the glory like, hole lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle. Like, who was that person? Or... I mean, he, he just ran parties. He just ran the party. Yeah, he it, it didn't really have anything to do with him and his own sexual acts at events. Because, uh -huh. I mean, you can't really get fired from that yeah, for what you do in your personal yeah, life. The only time that you get in trouble is when it's mixed. Yeah. So someone pretty much mm. snitched on him to let his job know that he was mixing it. And they launched the investigation, and things didn't go too well for him. So you you out there inviting secretaries to come? Yeah, yeah you can't be you like can't that. invite your co workers yeah. and you know nah, things like that because things can get that things can get messy. So. Okay, we got <laughs> Princey Roe in the house. It's not Roe as in Roe versus Wade, right? You don't kill the babies. You swallow the babies. I don't know anything about babies. I don't want any, so I don't like to talk about them. Mm. Um, but it's like row, like row your boat gently down the stream. Okay. Yeah. Hey, stroke, 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 stroke. Hey. Gotcha. Can, can you give the people your your Instagram and where they can reach you? Oh, my Instagram is Quincy underscore row, and that's row with two E's, R-O-E-E. Um, you can also catch me on all my links. It's allmylinks.com backslash Quincy dash row. And that's with two E's. That one has all of my social media. So you can find everything from my Instagram to my Twitch.